November 16th. Today, we are going to discuss the weather. Now, when the sun is shining, <clears throat> this just in, Pre-K-8 will not be learning about the weather today. In fact, Pre-K-8 is going to be learning about pigs. <sighs> That's right, everyone. Today, we are going to learn about pigs. So without further ado, let's get into some fun little facts about the pig. <laughs> Did you know that pig is not the only name that we have for a pig? They're also known as a swine or a hog, which, speaking of, that is our mascot for the college in our state, the Arkansas Razorbacks. They are a hog. Remember, we call the hogs in class. Ooh, pig, Razorbacks. Did you know there are almost 300 different breeds of pigs, but they all have the same kind of characteristics. That means they all have similar things about them to each other. They have a very heavy, round body, and they all have hooves, which look like this. They also have a snout, which is a nose, that looks like this. They use their snouts, or their noses, to dig up food from the ground to eat. Another characteristic that is similar in all the pig breeds is the tail, which is a really cute little curly cue. That's probably my favorite part of the pig is the little tail. Before girl piggies have babies, they are called gilts. And after they have babies, they're called sows. And they can weigh almost 400 pounds. <gasps> That's a lot of weight. Boy pigs are called boars, and some boy pigs, or boars, can weigh 900 pounds. Did you know that pigs are actually the smartest animal of all the animals on the farm? And some scientists even believe that they are smarter than dogs. And they can be taught to do tricks. Some pigs will even come when they're called, like a dog. Did you know that pigs actually prefer to be clean? Yeah, they don't like being dirty all the time. When we think of pigs, we think of cute little pink animals that roll around in the mud all the time and get dirty and icky and gross, but they don't like that. They only roll around in the mud if they don't have any water that they can use to cool their skin off. So when it gets really hot outside, Miss Emma and I tell you to take a drink of your water, Pigs need that too, except they need the water all over their bodies. And if they don't have any water available, they'll go the next best thing, which is mud. Arguably more fun to play with, but I digress. Pigs have really good hearing, maybe better than some of us, but their eyes are really small. And because their eyes are small, they don't have very good eyesight, which means they can't see very well. But don't worry their snout makes up for that because they have one of the best sense of smells around. You may be wondering, well, what do pigs eat? What can the farmer feed the pigs on the farm? The answer is corn. And some farmers grow their own corn and they can use it to feed the pigs. Another food that they feed them are cereal grains or soy meal. And they put them in little troughs like this and the piggies all gather around the trough and they eat the food, but they don't eat like pigs. They only eat as much as they need and then they stop. Now, most pigs are raised so that they can be sent to the market for food, for things that you and I can buy at the grocery store like hot dogs, ham, pork chops, and they use their hides, which is their skin, to make things like gloves, bags, or belts, but some pigs don't ever go to the market. They're actually kept on the farm as a family pet. Pigs are also really good runners, so they can run about 30 miles an hour. That's about as fast as a car driving in a neighborhood. And they can live over 15 years. Well, I hope you enjoyed those facts about pigs, and I thought that we would finish up this video by reading our farm book. 
Our Farm book. Written and illustrated, that means the story was written by and the pictures were drawn by the friends in pre-K-8. Kyron said, I like horses, cows, and milk comes from farms. Olivia said, I like farms because they have pigs, cows, horses, lettuce, peas, and corn. Farms have animals, and I made the back of a horse. And then she put all of her little letters down here. This is Miss Emma's. Miss Emma said, I like the herding dogs. They keep all the farm animals safe, especially the sheep. We need the sheep for their wool and meat. This one is from Hunter. Hunter says, on a farm, there are leaves and there's grass, dirt, cows, pigs, and even snakes. And he had a lava farm. That's lava on his farm. This one's mine. I like farms because they house the animals that make one of my favorite treats, ice cream. And do you remember what animal we get ice cream from? A cow, that's right. We get milk from cows and milk is used in ice cream. This one's from John, and John says, this is a super big snake. Mama has a barn, but it doesn't have a snake, just sheep and a dog. That's his blue snake. It is a good point that you guys are bringing up that there might be snakes on the farm, because you're right, there might be snakes on the farm to eat the mice inside of the barns. This one is from Xander, and Xander said, it's an ugly pig just standing there. Pigs are my favorite farm animal, but only if they're all washed and clean. This one is from Nova. And Nova says, I like cows, chickens, and pigs. I made an astronaut farm. It's like a sun and aliens. And there's her little rocket ship on the back. And we didn't get to add Wyatt's, but I do remember that Wyatt, he drew a big picture of a farm with like three suns on it and all of the suns had smiley faces. And then he also had the farmer and pigs. He had drawn pictures of little pigs too. But it's at the school because we didn't get to add it before we got sent home. So we'll have to add it when we come back to school, okay? All right, friends, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun learning about pigs and reading our farm book again. And I cannot wait until we see each other, which is gonna be today's Monday so we have Tuesday Wednesday and then Thursday we'll be back together in school so I wish you all well I love you I miss you and I will see you very soon bye